Garage. McDonald's owner operators in Minnesota and Western Wisconsin. Find your golden opportunity with flexible hours at McDonald's.com slash careers. Yeah, Enjoy I'm the having technical problems. We're trying to run it right now. I'll tell you now. And check out the Star like. Tribune today for the latest prep news, scores, and so much more. By purchasing these game streams, you too are making live coverage of high school sports possible. All profits are shared with the home teams that are part of PrepSpotlight.tv's growing network. From high above center rice at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena, thanks for joining us tonight on PrepSpotlight.tv for a Suburban East Conference matchup between the host East Ridge Raptors and the visiting Bears from White Bear Lake. The Raptors come in at 6-7-1, and one, won four of their last five, including their last game against Irondale, 4-1 to one in net tonight. Number 29, Jack Hodgins, the junior, he's won four straight. Will be in the pipes for the East Ridge Raptors. And starting up front will be sophomore Brady Knutson, senior number four Nick Landon, and on the wing number 39 John Kramer. And for the White Bear Lake Bears, starting in net will be number 30, senior goalie Nick Petman. As the Bears come in at five and five, and look for win number six tonight here in this critical suburban East Conference matchup. Our score bug is technically down right now. We will bring it up just as soon as we can. We'll give you the score and the time. Frequently on this call, we thank you for joining us and bear with us as we get the technical bugs out here as White Bear and Eastridge get ready to do battle tonight for the first time this year. The Bears come off a four to one loss to the Eastview Lightning on Saturday night. And as we said, the Eastridge Raptors with a 4-1 victory over Irondale. As we get ready, it will be Knutson against Bishop, and we are underway from Cottage Grove back to O'Brien. Long stretch pass he had. Knutson breaking through early on there, and Borgstead comes through with a chance right in front of Hodgins. Now Kramer back to the point. Shot gets through, tip, tip through, hit the side of the net. There is Borgstead. He's dangerous. He's got six on the season for the junior. Leads the team in scoring with six goals. That one goes wide of the net as White Bear comes in early with pressure. Thumb back now behind the net again. Borgstead, he looks to bring it back to the point. Gets it to his man Akins. Now crops to O'Brien. Into Welch. Welch brings it in. Tight shot saved by Hodges. A good one as the White Bear weaves it in and out. That one on the stick of Brady Borgstead. Back to the point to O'Brien. He looks. Dumps it deep into the corner. They go back after it. Hodgins will just look to cover it. Instead fires it back into the corner. And John Kramer pinned on the boards. Now Aiden Welch. He walks out front. Looks for a shot. Blocked on the way through by Downey. As White Bears had Eastridge pinned in for one minute here as we hit the 16 minute mark of period number one here from Cottage Grove. Downey for Eastridge finally gets it and flips it out to the neutral zone to get a breath and Eastridge will make changes to a tired offensive unit who was out there for the better part of a minute in their own end. Here comes Kotzmacher, the senior, turns into the corner, looks back the throat, finds her to Rhodes, saved by Hodgins, that one goes into the corner as number nine, sophomore Nolan Road. I'm sure I'm going to call him Leighton a few times tonight as number nine doesn't go far off the jersey in the White Bear heritage. Nolan Road, the sophomore brother, of course, of storied White Bear Lake player. Leighton Road wears the same number nine for his White Bear Lake Bears. Hodgins with the third save of the night at the 15-32 mark. And we are scoreless. Out front, shot scores! Quick pass, tic-tac-toe, Road right over to his winger. Number 26, that was Tyler Kotzmacher, and the Bears take a 1-0 lead as 
Missed assignments there early on by the East Ridge Raptors. Leave Hodgins cold. And it's one to nothing for the White Bear Lake Bears on a quick goal. Kotzmacher, road wins the draw, fires it over to him. And just like that, it's one to nothing. And East Ridge has come out cold here tonight as the line of Ravakumar, Lanahan, and Tauscher will come out for the East Ridge on this change. Gallatin, long stretch pass, gets it up the wing. Just offside on the far side was Kotzmacher. As that was Olsen who tried to bring it in on the right-hand side for White Bear. Again, one quick goal there. That was Kotzmacher from road at the 15-34 mark. And White Bear jumps out to a one to nothing lead early on on a pretty setup by Nolan Road. Pucks deep back in the corner again. Tries to get it in front. Scramble. Road took a swing at it. Now back to the point. Gets to Joe Belisle. Belisle dumps it back deep into the corner for Kotzmacher. He's pinned back there. Now behind the net goes Olsen. Lighty picks it up. He's four checked. Road comes and picks it up. Looking for help out front as Road takes it back to the point. Now to Belisle. Far side back over to Road. They come in with speed. Shot saved by Hodgins as right in front of him was Charlie Olsen. And it's a shooting gallery early. Five shots quick. Eastridge has yet to get it out of their own end. So far here in the first one, uh, two minutes and 11 seconds. Five shots, one's gone in. No chance at all for Hodgins as a missed assignment off the faceoff. Left a man wide open in front. Kotzmacher for White Bear. Closes the door, puts it in the back of the net. And it's 1-0 early on for the White Bear Lake Bears. Knutson brings it up to the blue line. He's got help there from Landon. He'll take it in as he goes back in. Two men out front. Landon, first shot of the game, and he ties it up. Nick Landon, he's been red hot for the East Ridge Raptors. Goal number nine, his fifth straight game with a goal for the East Ridge Raptors. And Nick Landon on shot number one at 14.38, answers the bell in East Ridge. The first time they crossed the blue line tonight, make it count. Nick Landon with a goal there, will get the assist for you at the 14.38 mark in East Ridge, who's been penned in for the first two and a half minutes. Gets a quick one and gets back into the game on the scoreboard. One to one here in a quick game between East Ridge and White Bear. Both these teams struggle to score. White Bear at 2.9 goals per game. East Ridge at only 2.11. And so far through two minutes and 28 seconds, we've got two on the board, one for each team. First, Coxmarker for White Bear Lake and then Nick Landon for the East Ridge Raptors on shot number one. And it's one to one. Here tonight from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Bishop, the captain for White Bear Lake, will face it off against Jack Tauscher. That was handled back at the point. Enger couldn't keep it in. They'll turn and fire it back in as Tomaska, Tauscher, and Enger get their first shift of the night for the East Ridge Raptors. That one's blocked on the way back in. Back forward goes Thomas Hinderer. He turns, trying to get it back out, and can't. And now behind the net, O'Brien up the boards, gets it to... Borkstad far side to Welch. Welch has got Bishop. And he'll cut across the missile. Far side to Borkstad. He's dangerous. He went back to Welch. Give and go. Good idea on the dangerous Borkstad. It went a shot from 25, but chose to pick it up and fire it across to Welch. Now back at the point. They'll get it to O'Brien. He'll look to walk in. Tries to turn it. Back in the corner. Gets to Tomaska. Turns it around. Now Bishop will fight back there. O'Brien will come in for White Bear Lake. And behind the net now out comes Borkstad. Back to Bishop. O'Brien will be pounded there at the boards and a nice pickup as Tauscher comes out. He's got Engert with him. Two Raptors get to the blue line. Cuts it across the middle. Tries to get a shot off. That one's blocked on the way through. Now he'll go for a breath as the puck goes back deep in. O'Brien up to Bishop on the half boards. Primusberger comes in. That one hit a body on the way through. John Kramer as Will Primusberger fired it in from 55 and hit his own man in front of the net. Back to the first lines here. The starting lineups for both teams as Nick Landon. Tonight's goal scorer, as we said, his ninth of the season, five straight. By my stat book here for number four, the captain for East Ridge is back out on the ice. There's Olsen, tries to get around Downey, does, gets in the corner, he uses the body, the six foot two junior for White Bear Lake. Now there's a break, two on one. John Kramer, he's got Landon with him, they come wide, Joe Belisle's back, nice play by Belisle as he Angles off John Kramer, the junior defenseman number six for White Bear with a great A defensive play there in the corner. They battle for it. Road, he battles against Knutson. Road wins that one, but back it gets to Knutson. Deep in the end. That one shot tipped up over Petman. 
as he had a look at it. And now on the boards, they'll battle back down. He keeps it in for East Ridge. Knutson will give pressure. They'll go out the other side now as White Bear will be on the stick of Olsen. Belisle activates from the point. He pays for it. And two on two. Here comes Road over to Kotzmacher. He has the goal tonight. Pulls it in. Shot. That one's off a of stick. High up and he takes a hit. Forward as Rick Lanahan comes across and lays down Kotzmacher, who has a goal tonight here early on. Yeah, We're going to face off to the right-hand side of the East Ridge goaltender. 1-1, 12-11 to go in period number one. We apologize for the score bug. Tough technical difficulties tonight if you just joined us. It's 1-1 here. A quick goal at the 15-34 mark by Tyler Kotzmacher. Opened up the scoring for the White Bear Lake Baker Bears. And then at 14-38. Nick Landon on the first shot of the night came in and scored for East Ridge. Shots on goal are 6-1 to one in favor of White Bear. They have been controlling the play. And on the scoreboard, 1-1 one one here in this Suburban East Conference matchup. That one goes back into the East Ridge zone. Hodgins is going to have to play it. He will to his defenseman. As the pressure came in there off the boards from number 22, Michael Delaney, the junior, chased it in. We got a first penalty of the night. And it's going to go to the White Bear Lake Bears. It's going to go to Grady Gallatin, the junior. We will go for two or less at the 11.41 mark. And he'll get two for cross-checking. At the 11.41 mark will the smooth skating Junior Gallatin and East Ridge, whose power play has struggled all year, only 5.6% effectiveness sends out freshman Blake Conan at center and on the wings. Nick Landon with the goal and John Kramer. So the two top scorers for East Ridge, Landon and Kramer, both with 15 points. Come in, now a shorthanded chance for Welch. He comes in, far pass over to Bishop. Tried to one time it, couldn't get the handle on it as an odd man rush on a power play. A rarity, and White Bear Lake had an opportunity there. Now long stretch pass to Welch. He's got Bishop behind line, he didn't see him. As White Bear Lake will be patient here on this East Ridge power play. We've said it struggled all year, 5.6%. And they got a minute and 25 left to go on the penalty here to Grady Gallatin. They'll cycle it back, now Lighty. He'll bring it to center ice. Look to turn it in, gets to the blue line, dumps it in deep. Now they'll give chase. Back for it will go Delisle. Belisle will be the first one back there. Conan gets to it. Now help from Landon, and they can't get it out. Now here comes Welch. Two on two as White Bear shorthanded comes back. Good back check by Knutson, the sophomore who picks up Welch on the way back in. He takes it and gets it back to Lighty. But White Bear Lake full marks here on the penalty kill as Aiden Welch pins it back there as ticked. Seconds just tick off that clock, and now here comes Brady Knutson. Gets it up to Jack Tauscher. He'll make a change. Tauscher will dump it in. He'll go back deep into the boards. They're pressured by Aikens. Now Lanahan will come in to help him out. As well back there comes Rode. He's out there with Olsen on the penalty kill for the White Bear Lake Bears. And back to the point, it gets to Polifka. He'll walk the line, look for a lane shot. That one's blocked through by Olsen as it goes. First one in is Lanahan, battling back there against Aikens. And now loose puck gets out towards the blue line and Tauscher happy to turn and fire it right back in and keep it in. First man back will be Hinderer. Tries to get it out, can't loose puck though and a dangerous one here. It's a foot race between Polifka and Olsen. Far side road breaks for the net, two on one. He's just outside the stretch. Good luck by Olsen as he tried to find road in a two on one as the penalty comes to an end. Eastridge will go 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. Gallatin will come out of the penalty box. Olsen will be behind the net in full strength for the White Bear Lake Bears here as they kill that one off in Polifka. Just turns and fires it down on the net. No icing called with 9.30 to go. One to one. White Bear Lake in East Ridge here from the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. On two early goals. Shot came in. That was Rava Kumar. He had a chance to lively boards here tonight at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. They will play a factor. Both goalies need to be prepared. There's a trip. Late call and it's coming to East Ridge here as Kotzmacher was turned and dumped, and Eastridge will go to the penalty here as the sixth attacker comes out front, loose in the play. Shot blocked by O'Brien as that one got through the blue paint, and now Lighty will touch it up. And the penalty will be called, and White Bear Lake will go to the power play for the first time tonight at the 9.02 mark. As number nine, Milan Tomaska will go to the box for Eastridge. He gets two for holding. And White Bear Lake will wheel out the power play. They'll bring out Tyler Bishop at center. They'll bring up Gallatin on the wing. And they'll have also number 11, Brady Borkstead at number 10. Aiden Welch up there. 
As this power play working at 13.6%, looks to get the goal ahead goal tonight. Face off one by Eastridge, gets back to Lydie, he turns and fires it down. And out to kill this penalty will be John Kramer. Number 39, he's got four goals and 11 assists. He got his, the first shorthanded goal of the season the other night for the East Ridge Raptors. And he's out here on the penalty kill, as is Nick Landon. Here comes Bishop down the middle. Nice pass, loose out front, scrambled in front. Hodgins got a piece of it somehow. And back to the point is O'Brien. Here he comes in, he's gonna step in now, far side back to Kotzmacher. Shot, that one's whistled high over the net. That was Bishop. Check it at the 828 mark, and it goes all the way off the glass and all the way down. As we have 120 to go in the penalty to Milan Tomaska of Eastridge as White Bear Lake remains on the power play and brings it forward. Here comes Bishop down the right hand side with speed. Cuts towards the net, looks out front. He's got Borkstead off the weak side. Now he gets it back to O'Brien. O'Brien's going to shoot it. Saved by Hodgins into the corner. Now Bishop again. Back in the corner. He'll look to set it up. Back to Gallatin. Walks the line. Back to O'Brien. A pass a little far for him. East Ridge penalty killer Lanahan without a stick. So really it's five on three here as Gallatin activates off the blue line. Gets it in behind the net. Welch uncovered right up high in the slot here as Lanahan has no stick. Back to Gallatin again. He's going to shoot it. That one's blocked though by Lanahan. Loose puck in the blue paint. They scramble. Back to O'Brien. Big traffic in front. They try to get it through there. Now Gallatin with a shot. That one goes through the blue and didn't miss by much. Now Knutson tries to get it back. Tries to carry it out and can't. Mistake here by O'Brien. Bishop. Shot. Saved by Hodgins. Rebound. Loose in the blue paint. Another save. Tries to cover it. Now he does as Gallatin comes in. As does O'Brien pushing and shoving in front. As, as Polifka had a hold of Aiden Welch, they didn't like it. And that was trouble averted for the East Ridge Raptors as Nick, Nick, Rick Lanahan, number 27, lost his stick there early on in that penalty kill. And White Bear Lake fired it around, really five on three there. A couple of shots on goal, a couple of good saves by Hodgins, and it remains a one-to-one -one hockey game. 23 to go on the penalty to Milan to Mosca. As White Bear Lake brings out Road, Olsen, and number 26, Tyler Kotzmacher, who has tonight's goal for the White Bear Lake Bears. Benoken off the boards, tries to get it out. Landon loses that foot race on the boards there to Aikens. White Bear Lake will keep it in. Kotzmacher's over there, tries to get it out. Now Landon makes a run for it. Nice play by Road to keep it in as we get to eight on the penalty to East Ridge. Road picks up the loose puck. He scrambles up front. Shot saved by Hodgins as it goes over the net. Road walked out of nowhere and came right out front for it. Penalty is now over Eastridge at full strength. And out they come. Two on one. John Kramer back on Joe Belisle. Shot from the point. Came through. Looked there for Hildebrand. Couldn't find him. And now White Bear has a four on two. Rush the other way as Belisle activates. Comes in. Drops it to Kotzmacher. Out front to Road. Out front. Loose puck. Scrambled in front. And Hodgins has it. And he grabs it as it goes down. And Eastridge kills that penalty off here. Shots on goal, eight to one. Again, we apologize tonight. Our scoreboard is not functioning. So we'll keep you abreast of the score and the shots. We have 6.38 to go here. Period number one from Cottage Grove. One to one, White Bear in East Ridge. And a game that's been controlled by the White Bear Lake Bears so far. They lead on the shots on goal level nine to one. And the goals tonight by Kotzmacher from White Bear Lake and by Nick Landon for East Ridge. We sit at 1-1 as Gallatin comes off the point. Dumps it in deep for Olsen. He's pressured back there by Downey. Now it gets on the stick of Conan and Eastridge. Will look to break it out of their own end. Long pass over to Ben Tauscher, the sophomore. He stood up there by Gallatin and it goes deep into the corner where O'Brien will take it back. He'll play it. Lanahan will pressure him. And O'Brien long pass too far for Kotzmacher. Gets to neutral zone where Eastridge will cycle it back and try to bring it in. Conan will dump it back in. Eastridge will make changes to its defensive lineup. Benoken will come on now. As that one gets back to Lydie, he's able to keep it back in, fires it in deep around behind the net. Where O'Brien will play it, and out comes Road. Burst of speed as the speedy sophomore comes down, fires it back in, gets behind the net. He'll make a change now as Benokin will go back for Eastridge behind his net. As with a burst of speed, out comes Michael Delaney. Gets back, shot, point, saved by Hodgins on that one from 35 from Aiden Aikens. As that's shot number nine of the night. The shot clock is a few behind, but it reads nine to one. It's been probably a few more than that on the White Bear Lake Bears side. And we're gonna face off as Josh Hoover comes out for his first shift tonight. And he'll be at center as coach Tim Sager 
empties the bench here early one early in period one get the legs underneath all of the boys and deep in the corner they try to fight back for it there white bear lake keeps it in as tauscher couldn't get it out gets it back right in the center there to josh hoover they fight for it and now Benokin will get it out to rava kumar as eastridge will get it to center turn fire it back in petman will play it up and into the net and we'll get a quick whistle and that will be a quick shift there as sager will go right back to line number one bring out welch borkstead and captain tyler bishop bishop five goals six assists tonight borks or this year borkstead six and two and aiden welch is chipped in with three goals and four assists for this powerful lineup from white bear lake as we have 515 to go in period number one tied from cottage grove minnesota white bear lake and the east ridge raptors in the suburban east conference matchup belisle has it for White Bear Lake. He'll become a long stretch pass there as Borkstad got behind the defense. It hit sticks or he was off to the races. Now he'll try to keep it in. Does. Referee says he did keep it in. Now Belia will have to go back as Welch gets caught in deep. They'll go up the other side now. Here comes Bishop. Taken in by Downey. Kramer will look to help him out on the boards. There's a battle. Borkstad picks up the loose puck. Got a man up high. That's Welch. Could he find him? Nice play by Kramer as Welch had a great chance if that one doesn't get picked off but Kramer with a strong defensive play for the East Ridge Raptors breaks that one up uh, they battle on the boards over there Primus Berger loses that one to Welch the bigger Welch gets it over to the far side now to Aikens trying to get it back out they can't Welch will break it in East Ridge struggling in their own zone again here as the pucks bouncing around and Tyler Bishop will get it back to Welch shot saved by Hodgins that one hits him high up there as Welch tried to go high corner and couldn't and that one is saved by the East Ridge goalie as he'll adjust his helmet as that one hit him up high. With 4.20 to go, we'll get changes to both offensive teams here. And out will come the line of Road Kotzmacher, and Olsen. They have the goal tonight for the White Bear Lake and uh, Bears. And on the other side, we'll have Tauscher, Engert, and Conan for East Ridge. With 4.20 to go in a 1-1 tie from Cottage Grove Arena. Glad you joined us tonight here on PrepSpotlight.tv. Faceoff is one. Olsen shot. Hodgins quick save. Wow, that was a screen through right through Davis Polifka, and Hodgins makes that save. And we get a faceoff back to his right hand side. And it's four seconds ticked off the clock on that shot by Olsen. Road again wins it clean. Olsen with another shot. That one just whistled by the post as Olsen took the clean feed on a great draw by Road, who won it. Off of the freshman Conan. They'll try to re reverse it back now on the other side. Engert goes for the puck. He turns. He's just trying to get it out and does to the blue line as Eastridge just trying to keep the pressure out of their own zone as White Bear Lake has been dominant on the offensive side of the puck so far tonight. Olsen battles back in the corner, as does Road. And now Engert's got it. There's a hook there, no call. And the loose puck gets out to the neutral zone. Road turns and fires three. Three Bears come back the other way. Engert harasses Road, and he'll just turn and dump it back in. Olsen will pick it up on the far side. He's got Kotzmacher back in the deep cycle. Gives it to him. Now tries to find Road. Camp. Road gets a shot on net. Hodgins saves that one. And again, Eastridge will make changes as they're hemmed in their own end. About 75, 80% of the play so far tonight has been in the zone of the Eastridge Raptors. But on the scoreboard, one to one, Eastridge against White Bear Lake here with 3.31 to go in period number one, and it will be Josh Hoover facing off against Nick Landon deep in the East Ridge zone. Another one gets through to Hodgins, and we'll try that all over again. As Landon will try it again against Hoover. White Bear Lake, as we said, five and five, coming in off a four to one loss the other night to the Eastview Lightning, and East Ridge won four of their last five the last one against irondale here's a long pass for john kramer two raptors break in he's got landon in front fires it's gig save petman answers the call nice save by petman Set third shot of the night and by far his best save for the senior goalie who slid across and made a great save there on a good one timer from landon right back into the east ridge zone though comes the bears they drive it back in deep benolkin gives it to hoover hoover tries to find his man Gets to the line, kept in by Belial. Nice effort there by the junior to keep it in, but he'll dump it back in. Downey will fire it back in. Well, Bernokin will try to get it back out. Pressured on the boards, Bernokin taken down. And skating it out comes the sophomore, Brady Knutson. Knutson comes out, gets it to the far side to Kramer, drives for the net. Kramer with the shot high up into the netting. And we will get a whistle with 2.39 to go in period number one. 
Shots on goal now 12 to three for the White Bear Lake Bears. And we'll get a face off to the right hand side of goaltender Nick Petman. Late here in period number one. Bishop, Welch, and Borkstadt. The number one line for White Bear Lake back out as they look for the goal ahead goal here. White Bear Lake has been dominant in period one. There's a long stretch pass. Borkstadt again got behind the defense. We'll have to watch that tonight. That's the second time he's gotten behind the defense and they weren't able to get it out back in their own zone. They struggle for it. Borkstad gets it, comes out front, looks for Bishop. It got through and he couldn't close it. Now back to the point. It gets to Akins. Akins walks the line to O'Brien. O'Brien tries to find Akins. Here's a chance. Nice play by Akins as Lanahan had a chance here to get that puck. He fired it up and Akins, well prone, got it with his glove and there was a breakaway. Here comes Tauscher. Shot from 55, high off a stick and into the net, but what a great play by Akins, the junior or sophomore defenseman. He lost an edge, he goes down. Man from Eastridge gets out behind him. He flips it over to him and Akins swats it out of the air, fly swatter style, and stops a potential break for the Eastridge Raptors. And the sophomore with a nice play there to break up a potential scoring rush for Eastridge with 2-0-1 to go in period number one. Conan back to Downey. He gets a shot. That's flipped up and high over the net. Back for it goes Gallatin. He'll get some help here on the boards now from Borgstad. He'll get it out. Long pass was intended for Welch. He couldn't find it. Bishop comes in, finishes his check as Eastridge turns and dumps it back in. Petman will play it to the corner. Back for it comes Welch as he looks for the quick breakout. Back to Gallatin, good pressure behind the net there by Ben Tauscher as he pressured Gallatin. And it gets out to the neutral zone where Eastridge will turn and set it back up on the hands of Bonokin. Looks for Knutson, gets it to Lanahan. Lanahan will just turn and dump it as he'll go for a change and get out the number one line for Eastridge. We've talked about it, Kramer. Landon and Knutson, they've accounted for 71% of the Eastridge scoring on the year and they're out there now with 1.15 to go in period number one. They have the goal tonight. Here comes Bilal in front, looking for Welch. Welch tried to fire one out. He was handled there by Knudsen, and a breakaway. John Kramer, white ice in front of him. One on one, scores! What a beauty on a giveaway at the point by number 10, Aiden Welch, and John Kramer goes in 100 feet unattested, and it's two to one Eastridge in a game where they've been outplayed in period number one, but they take the lead on the board thanks to their leaders. First, Nick Landon, now John Kramer, and the East Ridge Raptors lead it two to one. A giveaway at the East Ridge blue line as Welch tried to find a man and Kramer picks it up, takes it back in and East Ridge Takes the lead, here comes Kotzmacher, he's got the goal. Tries to center it out front to Rode, he was there. And they had to be quick, now O'Brien shot blocked through on the way by Conan. They go up the far side, Conan will take it to the neutral zone as we're with 48 to go here in period number one. O'Brien back for it, he's put it into the boards. Lanahan goes back to help. And the loose puck picked up by Rode, up to Olsen. That one hits a stick and Eastridge will turn and try to fire it back in. Blocked though nicely by Aiken, stays in the neutral zone. And now Rode, as it's just offside, and he had eyes on a shot as he came in on Hodgins, who's been good in period number one here. As White Bear Lake in control of the play, in control of the shots, 13 to four, but they trail on the board, two to one here, with 28 to go in period number one to the East Ridge Raptors. Knutson against Rode here at the draw, as those two battle. Neutral, and Knutson gets it out of his skates, gets it back now to Lydie, and Eastridge will turn back in their own zone and try to break it out. Lydie gives it away to Olsen. Right out front to Road, dangerous. Shot saved by Hodgins on a beauty, on a bad giveaway in the Eastridge zone. It gets out to the neutral zone. O'Brien turns, he'll fire it back in. Hodgins will play that one as a man comes in on top of him, and he'll touch that one with eight seconds to go and a face-off to his left-hand side as Eastridge clings to a two to one lead here early on in period number one and out will come Bishop, Welch and Borkstad for this face off. And White Bear stronger on the face off so far tonight but Nick Landon will come in for Eastridge on this draw and try to win it back. Referee doesn't like what he sees there as there's some banging between Knutson and Welch and we'll try it again here. 
Landon wins the draw back to Polifka. He'll turn, try to bring it back in the corner. He's just going to pin it and let the clock tick away as we get down to two. And we're through one period of play from Cottage Grove Arena as a little bit of physicality here at the end of it between Landon and Welch. Bishop also in there. And a period that on the scoreboard shows two to one Eastridge on the goals by Nick Landon and John Kramer. But on the board, shots on goal 13 to four. I think it was a few more than that even for the East Ridge Raptors, but they have the lead at the end of one period of play here from Cottage Grove. Two to one, thanks for joining us. We'll be back with the call of period number two right here on PrepSpotlight.tv.
Welcome back to Prep Spotlight high above the Cottage Grove Ice Arena today. At the end of period one, White Bear Lake trails the East Ridge Raptors two to one. Quick summary recap, the Bears came out at the 15-34 mark on a goal by Tyler Kotzmacher with the assist to Nolan Road, I almost called him Leighton Road to Nolan Road. A great pass by Road over to Kotzmacher and a wide open net for the Bears. They take a one nothing lead early on. But Eastridge comes right back 58 seconds later, Nick Landon. Captain number four gets a loose puck and fires it behind Nick Petman on shot number one. And just like that, the White Bear Lake Bears found themselves in a tie game in a game that they dominated for the first five minutes of period number one. And then late in period number one on an odd man rush, 1.32 to go in the period. John Kramer comes in unattested from 100 feet out and beats goalie Nicholas Petman on a deke. His fifth goal of the year for Kramer in point number 16 and the East Ridge Raptors take a two to one lead after one period of play here from Cottage Grove. White Bear Lake out shooting the Raptors 14 to four. We'll be back with a call to period number two right after this here on PrepSpotlight.tv. Welcome back to Cottage Grove, Minnesota. As we get ready for the puck job of period number two, Coach Tim Sanger has his Bears over to the bench. And after a period like that, there's not much you can really say. Your team completely dominated play for 14 and a half, 15 minutes of the play in the East Ridge zone. Good scoring chances, a couple of bad, bad puck hops. They deposit one on the stick of Kotzmacher and East Ridge gets a couple of odd man rushes. They cash both times. Full marks and high percentage for those goals from East Ridge as we get ready for period number two. The period of the long change as East Ridge will now go from left to right on your television screen and right away. Here comes Bishop. Nice play by Benoken. Picked up though by Borkstead. He'll go behind the net. Look far side. Back to the point against the Akins. Akins will walk the line. He'll shoot it. Nice stick by Lanahan to block that one as that one was intended. Gets out to the neutral zone. Aiken will take his time. The sophomore pressured by Tauscher. Will turn and give it back to his partner, O'Brien. Long pass intended for Bishop. Foot race between Bishop and Downey. And they go back into the corner. Now Borkstead picks it up. He tries to reverse it. Nice play by Benoken to pick that one up for East Ridge. As they battle along the boards. Benoken in the corner. Back there against Welch. The six foot two White Bear Lake forward, number 10. Aiden Welch there wins that one. Now it gets out and East Ridge will come out under the stick of Rick Lanahan. Number 27, he's on his own. Swingers make a change, tries to fire one in. Borkstead now plays him. Fresh troops up front for East Ridge as Lanahan will make a change here. And O'Brien will get it up to far boards to Welch. Welch comes in, he's got Bishop with him. Far side to Borkstead, nice play by Lydie. Got a stick in the lane or Borkstead had a direct shot to the net. Here comes Kramer, he's got goal number two. Out front to Landon, shot saved by Peckman and a good one as Kramer and Landon working close quarters there. And get it in tight on Petman. He makes a good save for shot number five of the night for the White Bear Lake goaltender. As Kramer and Landon get a good scoring chance early here for Eastridge. As we said, if he just joined us, two to one, Eastridge leads it. The majority of the play in their own zone as White Bear Lake, the more dominant team in period number one. Both teams with one power play. Both go 0 for 1 on that power play as Olsen comes in. Shot saved by Hodgins from 55 as that one was aimed for the net. And Hodgins is able to grab that one off. The shot from the junior Olsen had a lot of pace on it from 25 feet out, but no problem for the East Ridge goaltender as he makes save number 14 of the night. And it'll be Road against Landon. Road wins it, goes right in front. Loose puck, scores! It went in off the stick on a faceoff. He walked right through and it hit Kotzmacher again and it's 2-2 as that one went off the body of Kotzmacher and in. And soccer style. Kotzmacher gets that goal as he walked right through, Road walked right through Landon. 
And they tie it up at the 1532 mark, much like the first period. Kotzmacher on the board. Kotzmacher from Road, and it's two to two here. As no chance for goaltender Jack Hodgins there as it was bodied in. The refs are gonna talk about it now, whether it was a hand pass or not. But off to face off, that's where that face goal was won. Road walked right through Nick Landon and fired it over, it hit Kotzmacher on the way in. It was bodied in, not by a stick. It certainly wasn't too high of a high stick, but we'll find out now what they're gonna say as we're talking about it here. They called it a goal on the ice. And they're now reviewing it. And they're gonna call it no goal. A break for Eastridge as if they needed another one tonight as that one was directed in by Tyler Kotzmacher. So take that shot off the board. And a break again for Eastridge here as they said Kotzmacher directed it in. From my vantage point, Rode with a tremendous face off. He walks in, walks it right through Landon. He flips it in front, it's in about waist height. And Kotzmacher knocks it in. I thought it was with the arm. They're saying he directed it in after a meeting of the minds. The linesman appeared to have the call on it. And regardless, Tim Sager, livid on the bench for White Bear as he gets the equalizer and finds it come off the boards and he is incensed on the White Bear bench. And let's see what happens to his Bears here as they tied it up for a brief second and it comes off the board for Eastridge as it goes back into their own zone now. Gallatin, he's taken it hard into the boards. No penalty called as the White Bear Lake team wants it. And the crowd here to my right-hand side calls for it. Landing gets caught in deep. Kotzmacher battles on the board. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with Landon. There for Road Hodgins is just going to cover it. Road comes right in, snow blow, and they don't like that as they come in and chat with him. As he came in and gave a little snow shower as Hodgins covered it up. As Road came in right in him, Hodgins is slow to get up. And he's talking to the referee about it now. As they'll make changes and they'll wheel out line number two. Two tough lines for the White Bear Lake Bears tonight. The second one here, Bishop. Koshmacher and Welch, out front to Welch, shot save, Hodgins on a great one-timer. What a play by White Bear. Borkstead, Bishop, Welch, and the save, Hodgins got all of it on a great attempt out front there as Welch had a beautiful setup by the White Bear Lake Bears and they can't beat the East Ridge goalies. We said he's won four straight. And at 9.45, there's another one. Big save by Hodgins again as he stands on his head, keeping his team in there. That shot tipped out front, loose puck in front. Now they fight for it, Kramer gets to it, and here comes another loose puck race. East Ridge, three of them come to the line. Kramer's got Landon with them. Looks in front, shot to Kramer. Loose puck out front, Knutson's on it. Loose still in the blue paint, and they whistle it down. That time a break for White Bear as Kramer jumps up and down. He had a swat at it, but the referee got behind the net, lost pace for it. And what a start to period number two here between East Ridge and White Bear. A goal call back for the for the Bears, and right there, a good chance for the East Ridge Raptors, but the saves, Jack Hodgins with three big saves early on here in period number two, holding his team in, shots on goal, 18-7 White Bear, eight or nine of them right in front of the goaltender. There's a shot saved by Petman off a Tauscher on a good draw by Conan. Yes. Now Gallatin will go behind the net and they'll look to break it out on the boards. They get to the blue line to the neutral zone. Polifka turns, fires it right back in. No icing, even though he was on the wrong side of center. And now the ref is going to call it. As the back ref put his hand up, the linesman waves it up. The right call here, it was icing. Two feet or three feet behind the red line. And the ref will overrule it here and we'll get the face off back where it should be deep in the East Ridge zone with 14-11 to go here in period number two. Two to one, the East Ridge Raptors on top of the White Bear Lake Bears in a game that the Bears have had the higher offensive chances. 18 to eight shots on goal. So far tonight for the White Bear Lake Bears. Gets back to Aiken at the point, tries to find it, can't. Deep into the corner, they battle for it there. That's Hoover, he's battled back there as well. Gets some help now from Delaney. Delaney tries to find his point man, Downey plays him out, misses his man, Delaney comes right back, picks it up. Shoot, shot, was blocked on the way through and a nice play by White Bear. On the third line here, gets its second or third shift. Bad giveaway by Binokin on the far side. Now Tauscher will go for it. Aiken pinches in off the boards. He's got it as East Ridge is hemmed back in their own zone. The net is off its moorings. They're now going to blow it. And now he's talking to the goaltender. Jack Hodgins, like he knocked it off. This is a warning clearly for the East Ridge goaltender. 
about the net coming off to Moorings and I'm sure that's a warning for number 29 as White Bear Lake had the pressure on and coach Jim Sager again not happy about that as well as he gives the ref a piece of his mind one goal called back and now the goaltender knocks the net off as his team's putting the pressure deep into the East Ridge zone but regardless we're going to face off Road at the draw he's been dynamite tonight on the draws and there's a shot Olsen shot that one's high over the net as he walked right through on that draw I don't think Road has lost one tonight he wins them clean and he set up two or three good scoring chances off that draw now Road on the wraparound tries to find it can't get it back out nice stick by Tauscher Jack Tauscher got it it was intended for Olsen and Tauscher got a stick in the lane or Olsen has got a freebie from 15 feet now Belial He'll bring it up for White Bear. Long stretch pass tipped up and over the glass. Souvenir puck tonight at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. As Leighton or Nolan Road knocked it over the board. That's three times I've called him Leighton. I'm going to get it right, Nolan. I apologize. You deserve to be called Nolan. You've had a heck of a game tonight. Number nine for White Bear Lake. An assist already on goal number one and two or three dynamic plays from the sophomore center. A player to watch here tonight for the White Bear Lake Bears. Olsen battles it off the boards. Landing gets it to Knutson. He gets up, he's got help from Kramer. Nice back check by Kotzmacher as Kramer takes it into the corner. Now gives it back to Knutson. He takes it up to the half boards, looking for help there. Now return and will cycle it back down to Landon half boards. Now Polifka shot from 25, easily handled by Petman as that one was straight through. And now O'Brien fights on the boards. Kramer picks it up, he's taken out by Road. Up the other way comes O'Brien. Three Bears break it to center, led by Kotzmacher. Far side, taken out by Lydie. Kotzmacher stays with it. Now O'Brien activates all the way from his point. Back out front, Rhodes there. Shot saved, blocked by Kramer on a nice one. As the captain gets his body in the way of that one, as Rhodes had eyes from 25. Long pass intended, icing called on Eastridge. And they'll get changes as John Kramer labors over to the bench, but he gave it up for his team. The captain did as he stood right in front of that one as Rhodes had eyes from 20 feet out to shoot on Hodgins and look for the equalizing goal 12 28 to go period number two East Ridge two White Bear one we apologize again for the scoreboard tonight a technical difficulty here not able to give you the scoreboard or commercials you win on that one but the scoreboard's down so I will keep you abreast of the score here as often as I can 12 28 to go in period number two face off deep in the East Ridge zone gets back to Downey who turns and flips it up into the crowd and we'll try that again to the right-hand side after Ben Tauscher had won the draw cleanly back to Downey. He panicked with it and turned and fired it right up, way up into the crowd. And we'll try that again to the right-hand side of East Ridge goaltender Jack Hodgins. Tauscher against Bishop. Tauscher wins it again. Good draw by the sophomore. That one gets down. It won't go far enough for icing. Petman's going to play it. Leaves it for Gallatin as Conan pressures him up the boards they look for Welch Lanahan picks it up at the half boards now Bishop's in there deep Tauscher as well comes after it shot from a bad angle goes wide of the net and back for it goes Borgstad six goals for number 11 a player to watch tonight he's dangerous is Brady Borgstad for the White Bear Lake Bears now Welch gets it Bishop comes in to help him can't do it and back on the point now is Hinderer Hinderer takes his time tries to get it up Welch now going back to the Smooth skating, Grady Gallatin, the junior, who will fire it back up now and try to get it to Borkstad. Just turned and fired it back. Downey can't get it by him. And here comes Borkstad, although Downey makes up for it on a nice stick play. Foot race between Gallatin and Telsher. Gallatin ties him up. Loose puck as Telsher gets it to Lanahan. Rebound now front. Lanahan's pounded as Thomas Hinderer took in Lanahan in the blue paint on a good scoring chance for the East Ridge Raptors. Here comes Welch. He's got Bishop out front. Looks for the man, can't find him. They battle in the corner there. Now Bishop, back to the point, trying to get it to Hinderer. Can't, Tomaska will try to get it out to the blue line. He battles for it and can't get it out. Eastridge struggling at the blue line. Now Engert, he fights for it. Bishop will turn him, dump it back into the corner as Eastridge had a chance to get it out and now they're pinned back in again. Welch and Tomaska, they battle for it. Tomaska with a good effort, gets it past Hinderer and out to neutral zone as Eastridge has a tired forward line out here and gets an icing call. Thankfully for East Ridge and coach Dustin Vogel Gazang and they'll get a chain. They'll get a change here And we'll go back 200 feet the other way to the right hand side of goalie Nick Petman Number 30 in the Nets tonight for the White Bear Lake Bears 10.53 to go period number two again apologies for the lack of a scoreboard here our 
A technical glitch tonight preventing us from putting it on the board. It's two to one. The East Ridge Raptors on home ice leading the White Bear Lake Bears. But the Bears leading in shots on goal by the same margin, 18 to nine. The Bears have, they have not been able to figure out Jack Hodgins who's been full marks in the East Ridge goal. Here's another chance, Bishop or Kotzmacher tried to go forehand backhand and pull it through the legs. Road gets it back to him now. Kotzmacher who has goal number one tonight almost came in for goal number two. O'Brien back on the point, can't get it out. Kotzmacher shot blocked in front by Polifka. Road will pressure him and Polifka will turn back and try to break it out. Up the boards, long pass. Here comes Knutson. Two on one for Eastridge. Here comes Knutson. Tries to drive it in. Shots wide of the net there as he looked for Landon breaking in and fired it just wide of the net. Now back behind it, Road. He's taken out by Knutson as they battle. And up comes Olsen. Taken out by Polifka. Nice cover by Lighty. He'll activate off his blue line. Here comes the junior defenseman. He's battled by O'Brien. Takes it in deep. Tried to find it out front for Kramer. Couldn't. Kramer takes his man in. And out will come O'Brien. Long stretch pass intended for Kotzmacher, picked off by Benoken, who made a nice play there with the glove to stop it as Kotzmacher was free ice behind him if he gets that one, but Benoken knocks it down and Eastridge hangs on here. 9.49 to go here in period number two. The faceoff on that hand pass will go all the way back down to the left-hand side of goaltender Jack Hodgins. 18 shots, and it may be light. There may be 20, 20, 21 shots on him. Tonight has been full marks. And he's been able to hold all of them back but one. Shot number four of the night on a beautiful play between Rode and Kotzmacher. That's how Kotzmacher get goal number five for the senior and gave his Bears an early lead. But since then, Eastridge has popped two in and White Bear Lake has not been able to solve the riddle of Jack Hodgins in the net. He's won four straight for Eastridge. 9.43 save percentage in his last four. He's been hot. He's been the reason. Along with the forward line of Knutson, Landon and Kramer, the East Ridge has been able to some wins in the win column there. They battle on here. Good battle down there between O'Brien and Ben Tauscher as the sophomore battles. Now Lanahan takes it in as East Ridge picks up the physicality. Here midway through period two, Tauscher deep back for Benoken. He tries to keep it in Kent. Here's a break up the boards, but a nice play by Benoken to take his man. Belial was going to activate and Benoken got a body in the way. Long pass, Conan intended for Tauscher. Tauscher comes up two on three. He'll try to bring it to the right-hand side. Played beautifully by Belial. And now a break the other way. Here comes number 22, Michael Delaney. He's got help on the backside there from Hoover. Shot on Hodgins, saved, no problem. That one gets to the corner. And Benoken will bring it back out for Eastridge, who's calmed down a little bit here. The first period, all White Bear Lake Bears in play. Although they come out with a two to one deficit. And this play has been a bit more even here in period number two as O'Brien, the captain, tries to get it up to Welch. They get it now, and here comes Borkstad. He's got Bishop with him as two Bears break down inside to Polifka. Hodgins is just going to cover it as Polifka kicked it towards the net. Smart play. And Eastridge will gladly take the face off. With 8.26 to go here from Cottage Grove Ice Arena. Glad you joined us tonight here on PrepSpotlight.tv. Again, apologies for the... Lack of the score bug at the bottom of our screen. Technical difficulties preventing us from showing you that tonight. But as I said, I will keep you abreast of the score. It's 2-1. White Bear or East Ridge over White Bear. The Raptors in their home white uniforms against the visiting Bears in their black and orange. The familiar colors of the White Bear Lake Bears. That one's tipped up. Gets back to the line. They try to dump it back in. Knutson's caught inside offside. It's Landon brings it back and we'll get a whistle. And a faceoff just outside the White Bears line as... Eastridge has Kramer, Knutson, and Landon. The top line, they've got both goals tonight. We said Landon's got six goals in his last six games. Kramer's got three in his last three. And before that, Brady Knutson, the super sophomore, had three goals in the three games in the middle of those two. So this line's had 19 points in its last four games for Eastridge. All the scoring, or the dominant scoring, seems to be coming from this line that's on the ice right now. Number 13, 44, and 39 for the Eastridge Raptors, Polifka. Activates up from his blue line as Knutson tries to battle back there against O'Brien. The strong captain for White Bear keeps it in. Dump it back to the boards now. They go far side. Aikens will pick it up for White Bear. He'll go D to D to his partner O'Brien. O'Brien, long pass for Bishop. Burst of speed for the captain. He comes in far side. Bad angle. Looks to look for the wraparound. Tucked it out front. Hodgins blocked it on the way through. Lottie pressured by Welch. Welch, the power forward back there, takes Lottie down. Now behind it comes Borkstead. He looks to turn it up the boards. Camp Polifka comes off his line. Here comes Welch off the corner. He tried to find a place. Nice play by Lighty as 
Welch had eyes for the corner, now Borkstead turns in a phone booth behind the net, Welch comes out from the tough angle, gets it out front, looks for Bishop, it hits Sticks, and White Bear with pressure here as Eastridge flails around, trying to get it out, Nithin Ravakumar finally gets to it, can he get it out? He can't get it by O'Brien, now Polifka will try, and they still can't get it out as Welch keeps it in, and finally a nice play by Kramer after a long shift by the Eastridge Raptors, they need a change, they come back the other way, Polifka steps up on that tip pass from Bishop, and they'll fire it in as Eastridge will make full forward changes here with 6.55 to go. in a 2-1 lead tripped up was Tomask and no call as the Eastridge crowd comes to its feet. They looked for a call there. Luke's out front. They fired it. Tauscher looked for Tomaska. Now Downey shot from 55. Hits the pipe as that one went through. Petman didn't see it. And Downey from 55 rings the pipe for Eastridge. Benoken. Deep back into the corner for Telsher. They battle it back in now. Engert will go back after O'Brien, who will go up the boards, try to get it out, and he will. Icing is signaled, and it will be called here as Ethan, or Evan Downey, the captain from Eastridge, looked for goal number one. He threw it through Crad from 55. He hits the pipe, and Nicholas Petman keeps that one out as Tim Sager calls the referee over to the bench. He's still not happy from earlier on in the period when a goal called back. Deemed to be gloved into the net by Tyler Kotzmacher. And then quickly after that, the goal was knocked off its moorings during an intensive pressure shift by the White Bear Lake Bears. So Sager continues to play the refs. Here's a long place. Olsen, he had a man for Kotzmacher. He got behind it, couldn't find him. And back it goes as White Bear Lake will regroup back in its own zone. Belial will give it back to Gallatin. Olsen tips it in, he'll give chase there. Hodgins is going to come out of his net, he doesn't see Kotzmacher on the far side. Tipped up by Kotzmacher and up front, nice hand eye. As Hodgins didn't see him, he fired it off the dasher board. And Kotzmacher shows you the hand eye coordination. He has the goal tonight, now he fires it back to Gallatin. Traffic in front by Olsen, good block by Conan. Olsen right in the blue paint, Hodgins can't see anything if it gets through. As that one was fired wide. Kotzmacher will keep it in on the boards. Lanahan will battle him. Now Belial back to the point. Looks to shoot it. Does. Saved by Hodges. Rebound up front. Road got a piece of it. And that one tips up. Again, here comes Lanahan. Gets to the blue line. Tries to get it out. Belial steps up on him. And White Bear Lake will keep it at the blue line and turn it back. Now Road. He'll come in far side over to Olsen. Break as Pinocchio went for it. Hodgins will play it again. Behind his own net there as he comes out to the shrieks of some East Ridge fans as White Bear Lake sees him doing that and comes in and reads the far side. Now Rode, he fumbles in the corner, dives back there as well. Number 22, Michael Delaney. Finally, Eastridge turns and dumps it, a good curling shot. It won't have enough weight to get down there, but Knutson will chase Gallatin back there. Gallatin reverse cycles it back. O'Brien, long stretch pass to Olsen, couldn't handle it. And Eastridge again, lucky. Delaney, now Olsen, comes in from 25, out front to Number 27, that was Josh Hoover. Got it on his backhand. If he's a left-handed shot, it's 2-2. But unfortunately, that one goes on the backhand for Hoover, who tried to turn it back and forth. Now he's in the corner. Gets it back to O'Brien. Half boards. 4.39 to go. Period number two from Cottage Grove. Eastridge clinging to a 2-1 lead over the White Bear Lake Bears. Out front, Hoover. Shot. Blocked. Hoover with it again. Can't get it out. Now Landon will turn and fire it off the glass. That one's going to go for icing. And as he turns and dumps it back down, at the 421 mark, a faceoff to the left-hand side of goaltender Jack Hodge and shots on goal 22 to 10 for the White Bear Lake Bears, but the scoreboard reads two to one for the East Ridge Raptors with 421 to go here in period number two from the Cottage Grove Ice Arena. Here tonight, glad you joined us on PrepSpotlight.tv for this South Suburb or East Suburban East Conference matchup. Shot up front tip, big save by Hodgins again as Michael Delaney tipped that one onto the air, redirected it towards the net, and Hodgins snags it from the air. And with 4.16 to go here in period number two, Eastridge will make changes. They'll stay with the line here of Hoover and Delaney. And on the far side, Viala against Milan Tomaska, and that draws one cleanly by Hoover. Back to O'Brien, dump in the corner. Hoover will play it behind the net, looks for the wraparound can't. Now Tauscher, Jack Tauscher, number 19, the junior, will bring it to the center ice line, try to find Ravakumar and can't. Down he turns, fires it off the boards, and right onto the net where Petman will cover it. At the four minute even mark, we'll get a face off to the right hand side as Eastridge, happy to just clear the zone. And now they'll make changes to that line. Both teams will, out comes the Bishop, Borkstead, Welch line. We said dangerous line, quiet so far tonight. 
I highly doubt they will not be heard from before this one's over as this line's got too much offensive power for the White Bear Lake Bears and they're out there against Tauscher, Conan and Lanahan. Good draw by Conan and a good shot by Tauscher. Quick save by Petman there on a good draw play by the freshman. That one's icing, it barely got there. The White Bear Lake crowd ooing and on. They aren't happy about that whatsoever, but we'll go back 200 feet the other way. Nice draw by the freshman Blake Conan, number 41, gets it back to number 20, Ben Tauscher, the sophomore. He gets some good wood on that one from 25, and Petman had to make a good save on his 11th shot of the night. And he keeps this one a two to one game here as the referees are gonna talk about it now. But whether it was icing or not, I'm not sure what this could be. It was Icing was clearly signaled and called as they'll have a meeting of the minds again. And I guess dinner reservations have been made. We'll see who picks up the check. And we'll get back to playing hockey tonight here at Cottage Grove Ice Arena. Conan on the draw. That one's won by Bishop. And now Belial tries to get it up the boards to Borgstad. He comes in. He's got help as Bishop comes with him. Long pass to Bishop just a little bit too far as Bishop tried to join the rush. Back to the point to Gallatin. Shot tipped just wide by Welch. Smart play by Gallatin. Look for sticks. He found one. Aiden Welch lurking right in the blue paint. Tipped it just wide. Now Borgstad pounds in the corners. Lanahan tries to just tie it up but he won't be able to do it as Welch comes out of it here as White Bear Lake with 321 looks for the tying goal Welch in the corner back to the point against the Gallatin that one's blocked on the way through by Tauscher who may have broken his sticky checks for it chases his man back to the blue line now Borkstad gets it inside with Bishop he'll have to tag up and go back as Downey will regroup for Eastridge, up the boards to Lanahan. They turn, fire it back in deep. Petman will play it behind his own net. Eastridge will make changes. Welch is wide open down here. If they can find him, and they do, but he finally just turns and tips it in. Back for it goes Polifka. Battled there by Bishop. Welch tries to find his man up front. That's Borkstead. It gets just behind the net. He stays with it now as Bishop anchors high up in the slot behind the net. Welch trying to find his man. Weak pass didn't get back to the intended Gallatin and Jack Tauscher. Goes the other way for Eastridge. Ruff gets in the way though. And Tauscher will take it back in with 2.30 to go in period number two. Back at the point, Polifka. He'll just turn and fire to the empty corner there. Back where Polifka will back. Tomaska, shot blocked on the way through. Rebound hits the side of the net as that one went through. And penalty coming up as Milan Tomaska was dumped. He fired it. It hit Jack Tauscher, who was trying to make the screen on Petman. Gets a rebound, hits the side of the net. Almost put it by Petman. And that hustle by Milan Tomaska will draw a penalty. And White Bear Lake will go to the box for Eastridge, will go to the penalty or the power play for the second time tonight. It will be number 26, Tyler Kotzmacher will go to the penalty box. At the 217 mark in Eastridge, as we talked about, power play has not been good all year. 5.6% effectiveness only. We'll bring it back out and try to extend this two to one lead. On the power play. Out to kill it will be Olsen and Nolan Road for the White Bear Lake Bears as Eastridge fights it back into its own zone. They've got Landon Conan and Knutson and they drop John Kramer, the forward, back to the point on this power play. And as White Bear Lake content just to turn and fire it back in. 155 in the period, 137 on the power play here for the Eastridge Raptors is Tyler Kotzmacher. Sits in the penalty box for two or less here. They give it back now to Lighty. He's going to go up the far side. Gets it to Knutson. Knutson gets it past the blue line. He'll pull it up at the half boards. Looks for help. Gets deep to the corner to Landon. Back to Knutson on the half boards. Lighty will walk the line. Looks for sticks out front to Knutson. One-timer shot. That's blocked on the way through by Belial. Nice play. Knutson picks it out of midair. He keeps it in for Eastridge. Now back to Conan. Conan, top of the dot. Shot saved by Petman. As he saw that one from 55 off the freshman stick. And he gloves it, no problem. Gives his White Bear Lake Bears a chance for a breath. They will change it up. Out will come Bishop and Welch to kill this one off. And on the point, they will have Aikens and Gallatin. Eastridge will maintain the power play unit out there. They've been out there for 53 seconds already. We'll have to watch this near the end of it if Eastridge isn't able to score. Tired legs could be on this Eastridge power play as Knutson gets it half boards. Back to Lighty, top of the umbrella. It's pressured there by Bishop. Now he goes far side to Knutson, deep inside to Landon. Landon looked for a man out front. Kramer was trying to drive it. Conan lurks out on top of the circle. Shot on the way through. That one's tipped up by Landon. Goes up into the 
Meshing and now Coach Dustin Vogel saying we're playing out power play unit number two with 45 to go in the penalty to Tyler Kotzmacher in a two to one East Ridge lead with 102 to go here in period number two. Shots on goal, 23-13. East Ridge with a two to one lead, clinging to it on the back of Jack Hodgins, who's been outstanding in the East Ridge net tonight. We said he's won four straight, looking for number five, and he's been full marks to keep his team in the lead. Goals for Eastridge by Landon and Kramer for White Bear Lake by Kotzmacher as Tauscher comes in looking for a loose puck. Shot saved by Petman as that puck bounced, and now Ben Tauscher dives it deep into the corner. 40 to go, and the puck's up again into the netting as we'll get a whistle and a faceoff to the right-hand side of goaltender Nick Petman. Makes a good save there off of Ben Tauscher. We had a swat at it just outside the blue paint. Try to find goal number three tonight for the East Ridge Raptors. They're going to call it a hand pass as it went up into the netting. It will go down all the way into the East Ridge zone. We'll get a faceoff with 39.3 to go in the, in the second period to the left-hand side of Jack Hodgins. 23 to go on the penalty to Tyler Kosmacher. Back on the point, it gets to O'Brien. He looks for a shot blocked there by Conan as they try to get it through. Now Welch battles back there with Knutson as Kramer will wind it up one more time for the East Ridge Raptors. 24 to go. The penalty to Kotzmacher expires. And the East Ridge Raptors are now, or right Bear Lakes are now full strength. Kramer, shot, Petman, rebound, scores! Nick Landon on a pass-off pad. Design play, John Kramer to Nick Landon. And it's three to one, East Ridge. That goal's even strength, but Landon gets goal number two of the night. And that connection, Kramer, Landon on fire, as we talked about with Brady Knutson out there. They were responsible for all three again tonight on a great heads up play by John Kramer. He comes in two on one. Instead of the pass, he does pass off pad. Design play, low off the corner, makes Petman make the play. The rebound goes exactly where it's anticipated. And Landon reads it and deposits it for goal number two tonight. Goal number 10 on the season, and Eastridge leads it three to one as we get under six seconds to go in period number two. Road in the corner, boom, out front. As we come down to the end of the period, and Eastridge is stunning. The White Bear Lake Bears, they're being outshot 24-15, but they lead it three to one on home ice tonight on the back of a goal by Nick Landon, and we'll be back for the call of period number three Right after this, you're watching Minnesota State High School Hockey on PrepSpotlight.tv.
Welcome back to Prep Spotlight. High above center ice tonight from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Home of the East Ridge Raptors. We're at the end of two periods of play. They lead the White Bear Lake Bears by a score of three to one. Quick scoring summary. In period number one at 15.34, Tyler Kotzmacher opens the scoring in this one on a goal at 15.34, assisted by Nolan Road. Then the White Bear Lake Bears went out one nothing early on. They led on shots by eight before Eastridge could get their first shot on goal, and it was on the stick of number four, Captain Nick Landon. He beats Nick Petman, and the Eastridge Raptors tie it up at 1-1 with an assist to Brady Knutson. At the 102 mark of period number one, John Kramer comes in unattested from 100 feet out. He beats Nick Petman, and the Raptors take a 2-1 lead into the dressing room after one period of play. With the shots on goal, 16-5 in favor of White Bear Lake. Only one goal in period number two. Off the stick of Nick Landon. He gets his second of the game, his 10th of the year for the senior captain. With an assist to John Kramer off a great play as Kramer came in on a 2-1-1. Throws the pass off a pad right to his winger who deposits it behind Petman. And the East Ridge Raptors take a 3-1 lead into the third period here being outplayed and outshot 26 to 16. Jack Hodgins, 25 of 26. He had no chance on the goal by Kotzmacher as Rode found him on the back door early in period one. Since then, he stopped 25 straight. And he's been the difference. The line of Knutson, Landon, and Kramer accounts for six points tonight for Eastridge and strong goaltending. Behind the junior, number 29 has the Raptors up 3-1 in a game that's been controlled for the most part by the White Bear Lake Bears, who I'm sure Coach Tim Sager have revved up and ready to go here for period number three from Cottage Grove. And we'll be back with the call right here on PrepSpotlight.tv. We get ready for the puck drop here from Cottage Grove. As East Ridge in their home whites will move from right to left for the third period on your television screen and the White Bear Lake Bears in the unmistakable black and orange of the Bears will move from left to right. They will wheel out the line of Bishop, Welch and Borkstead. We've talked about that line, powerful line for the White Bear Lake Bears. They've been held scoreless tonight. And the, this line's too strong to be held scoreless for long. I would say they've been pressuring it as well. The line of Kotzmacher. Nolan Road. And Aiden Welch has been equally as strong, but they've been frustrated all night by the goaltender in the net for the team in white. Jack Hodgins, who's been outstanding tonight for the East Ridge Raptors as we're underway period number three Tauscher takes it in for White Bear or for East Ridge as he goes behind the White Bear zone back there battles Lanahan they turn fire it back Lanahan back there with O'Brien O'Brien on the boards looks for Borkstead can't get it out and East Ridge happy to play it back deep as they will be all third period I'm sure coach Dustin Vogelzang in his fifth year behind the bench will be looking to keep the puck in deep all night and force the White Bear Lake Bears to play the long game. That one's tipped off Tauscher to go back in. Back for it goes Welch. Icing called off as Eastridge touched it at the blue line. Back for O'Brien. Can't get there. Foot race as Tauscher comes after O'Brien. He almost gets there. Good play by the captain as he got the inside leverage and stopped the speedy sophomore as he came in with a burst of speed. Now O'Brien will try it up the other side. He'll look long. Pass intended. That's icing. And it will be signaled and called as a shaky start for White Bear after the get it deep in fire it back out coach tim sager has some words for that line and he'll fire out line number two olsen road and kotzmacher they have the goal tonight and they've been full value they've had three or four great chances nolan road's been outstanding at the draws i don't think he's lost one all night and he'll take it deep in his own zone and as, as i say that one's the draw will give it and olsen picks up the loose puck for white bear three Bears rush out. Belial joins the rush. Far side to Kotzmacher. Shot saved by Hodgins as it went high for his head. He knocks it down. 
The shot number 27 is Kotzmacher looked for his second of the night. He had one called back in period number two, a controversial call that Tim Sager let the refs hear about it. Rode wins the draw clean, takes it through the legs of Nick Landon. He fires it out front. It goes in off the body of Kotzmacher, and they call it a goal, but after a meeting, the referees say that it was directed in by a hand. Out front, Rode's got a chance. Shot safe, Hodges. Rebound in the crease again. They've got it. They can't get it out as they turn to fire it. Man down behind the net is Polifka. Back to the points, Gallatin is White Bear. Gets the pressure on here. Now Knutson on a block. They'll go the other way as two Raptors come up. It's Knutson with Kramer. He'll dump it in deep. Belial will go back for it, and it'll be pressured by Kramer. Bilal uses his leverage, a nice play there by the junior defenseman as they come back out. That one's just outside Knutson, or Ravakumar takes it in, just over the blue line. And offside as Kramer was caught in deep, but great chance there by the White Bear Lake Bears. Deep inside the zone, shot by O'Brien, shot by Kotzmacher. Hodgins gets both of them as the puck bounced around in the blue paint and a good play by the defenseman. Evan Downey to clear that out of trouble as it sat there perilously in the blue paint. That one's sent down. Icing will be waved off. As they said, Gallatin could have touched it. Deep back into the zone. Tomaska will battle back there. He battles Belisle. Now long pass out the far side. That was Delaney. Couldn't find his man as he intended it for the winger or center Josh Hoover. They come in now. Here comes Ravakumar. Loose puck. Loose in the blue paint. Rebound. Big save by Petman. As Ravakumar got around the ref, ref got in the way of the White Bear Blake player, and Petman had to be sharp there, and he was as he makes a good save. High up off the blocker save for number 30 on shot number 17. He makes a key save here early in carry number three for the White Bear Lake Bears. They battle forward on the boards. That's Delaney. He's in there as well as Ravakumar as well as Tauscher for East Ridge. Off the boards, Binokin turns, flips it in, hits the rafters, will get a whistle, but what a save by Nick Petman. As the puck bounced off the referee, came right to East Ridge, another friendly hometown bounce tonight for East Ridge. They've had a few of them, and that one gets on the stick of Ravakumar. He rips it for the top shelf from 18 out, and Petman gets the blocker up on a great save. His best of the night for the senior goaltender. Comes in at two and four on the season, 256 and an 887, but that was his best save of the night. Long pass, here comes Borkstead. He's got Bishop in front of the net. Looks out front to find him, Hodgins, huge save, rebound, huge save again, it's blue paint. They scramble four and they blow it down. How did that one stay out as Hodgins again comes up with it, he shows the glove and he's got it on shot number 30 and the crowd comes up and somehow he's got that one as White Bear Lake cannot find the answer. What a great feed by, Bork, by Borgstead over to Bishop. And Bishop with a great feed and they can't put it by. White Bear Lake all over the East Ridge zone as this line, we talked about it, too good. Right now for the East Ridge Raptors is Bishop, Welch and Borgstad. And right there they almost get the tying goal. In front of the net they battle for it. There's Landon. Kramer and Knutson, as I said, they've got all three tonight for East Ridge as they're out here looking for the potential nail in the coffin goal. Knutson behind the net, he battles his man O'Brien, now Landon chases him. Number four's got two tonight as he picks it up, loose in the slot, tries to find a man, nice play and a rebound by number 12, that was Aikens as he turns it around the far side. Deep in the quarter, Landon, he'll battle back there against Bishop, trying to kick it forward, guys get it to Knutson, too hard and O'Brien picks it up with 13.41 to go here in period number three. East Ridge three, White Bear Lake one. Here from Cottage Grove, Minnesota in the Suburban East Conference matchup. Here comes Bishop, gets to the line, far side, shot from 35. Hodgins handles that on shot number 30 of the night for the White Bear Lake Bears. Bishop, deep in the corner, turns, fires it back in. Here comes Knutson, he dumps it to the boards, gets out. Nice play by Belial, sure-handed Belial. He's been impressive tonight. The junior now activates off the line, tries to break it in, goes towards the net, fires it out front. Had a man trailing, that's road. Now Gallatin with a shot, blocked by Tauscher on a great play by the sophomore, who put his body in the way of that one. Behind the net's Welch. Now back to Borks, that shot out front, Hodgins gets it, shot 31. And White Bear Lake has the fins up here in period number three as they just swarm the East Ridge Raptor net. And they are yet to get one by them, but they continue to press here. 31, 17, shots on goal now for White Bear Lake. As they continue to put the pressure on, they wheel out. We'll see probably two lines only from Tim Sager. We're gonna see Rode Olsen here and Kotzmacher. Now Rode's got it, he puts it towards the net. Kotzmacher gets a chance, shot blocked on the way through 
as that one had eyes. Now Lighty battles back behind the net with Olsen. Rhodes back in there as he digs the sophomore. Number nine for White Bear. Impressive all night. Gets it back to the corner to Olsen. Now back to Kotzmacher. Shot from the point. Blocked on the way through by Tauscher. Now Belial picks it up. He'll walk and activate off the point. Go half boards. As Eastridge scrambles here as White Bear Lake puts on the pressure. They go out front. Now Kotzmacher. Shot. Save Hodgins. Net comes off as Hodgins gets another one. And we'll get a whistle here as White Bear Lake continues to put their pressure down. They're going to keep that forward line out. They're going to change Belial and Gallatin. They're going to bring out Hinderer and O'Brien. And Eastridge will deliberately, slowly use that home ice advantage last change and dump it towards the boards. They will bring out the line of Knutson, Kramer, and Landon again to battle here against this line of Rode, Olsen, Olsen, and Kotzmacher. Faceoff is one kept in by O'Brien though. Nice play by the defenseman. Gets it to Kotzmacher. He tried to find Olsen who came off the line. Now Knutson. Here comes the sophomore for Eastridge. He battles back. Good back check by Olsen. Far side Kramer. Tries to battle O'Brien. The stronger O'Brien's on there. Nice play. Kramer one hands it though. Shows you the strength in those arms and he got it out front. Now here comes Rode. Three bears. Far side Olsen. Shot blocked on the way through by Lighty. Deep in the corner. Olsen tries to fight for it. Road comes out, shot, that one's wide of the net by about a foot as Road came out with a quick one-timer. Behind the net, Olsen can't handle it. Lighty will go back and he'll be pressured by two bears. Try to bang it off the boards, he needs help back there and now Kramer comes in as Road and Olsen come in for White Bear. They battle it back deep, 11.43 to go, period number three. And White Bear trails this one three to one here in Cottage Grove. Out front to Road, he couldn't handle it. Nice play by Landon as he came in and got a stick in the lane there. Good play, Kramer will just turn and dump it. Eastridge will make five changes to their lineup as Tauscher, Tauscher and Nithin Ravakumar will come out for the Eastridge Raptors. The line of Olsen, Kotzmacher and Road will now get changes and they'll bring back out now the third line here of Hoover and Delaney. And here comes Net Ravakumar, burst to speed, gets to the line, tries to go wide on Gallatin. Lanky defenseman Owen Gall or Brady Grady Gallatin with a long reach, gets that one in the way and stops that rush. Back to the neutral zone, Polifka. He'll go D to D, far side to Downey. He takes his time. Long pass intended for Tomaska. That hits sticks. And back they come the other way. Here comes Michael Delaney. In behind the net. Hodgins is going to play it. Leave it for Polifka. Turns it off the boards, can't get it out. That one comes through. Shot back from Gallatin as he kept it in. As Tauscher wasn't able to get it back out. Now back on the boards, it gets to Gallatin. Walks the line, shot comes through. Back, tipped off the boards, goes wide. Nice play by Tomaska. Can't get it out though as they try now. And now Polifka will step up with 10.30 to go in period number three. As they turn and dump it back in. Polifka all the way back down. Long pass by Delaney, gets it out to the neutral zone. Bonokin will take his time, give it to Tomaska, who will turn and fire. Eastridge will keep those lines rolling and keep them changing as Hoover will maintain that line out there with, with Gallatin. Out front, that one's tipped on the way. Nice forecheck by Ben Tauscher, number 20, the sophomore. And we'll get a face off as Petman had to be sharp and cover it. Shots on goal 32 17 for the White Bear Lake Bears, but on the board, 3 1. Eastridge leads. The White Bear Lake Bears, two goals by Nick Landon, one goal by John Kramer. And the White Bear Lake Bears, who have had the majority of the play in the East Ridge zone, trail this one by two to the Suburban East Conference rival, the East Ridge Raptors. Tauscher, great effort by the sophomore to keep it in. Now Lanahan, he gets it, nice effort, turns and dumps it in as East Ridge will be happy to continue that forecheck and that forward press and just keep turning it in. Petman, that one had to cover it. And with 9.54 faceoff to the right-hand side, it'll be freshman Blake Conan against senior captain Tyler Bishop to the right-hand side of goaltender Nick Petman. Draws to, drawn into the skates, comes in there. Nice activation by Welch. He got Borkstead. Dangerous Borkstead up the right-hand side. Shot, that one's high and wide off the glass. He's got a rocket does Borkstead as he showed you there that one high and wide but good heat on it from 50 feet now Conan he'll turn and dump it off to the neutral zone back for it goes Aikens he'll turn and fire it back to his partner O'Brien they play give and go now out this far side to Welch here comes Borkstead he'll come in looks to take it all the way in now cut towards the net walks out front loose puck Hodgins has got it nice play by Borkstead as the junior came in nice hands Tucked it inside, came towards the blue paint, lost a handle on it just as he came through, but you could tell what he was gonna do. Pull it back, go up high, 
And Hodgins is there for it on a nice play by Borkstad that he just couldn't finish. But again, that line, Bishop, Borkstad, and Welsh has been full marks tonight on the offensive side. There's a shot, Olsen shot, hits the pipe on a draw by Road. We've seen that two or three times tonight. That's one back straight by Road, and the, off the draw, they come right through. That time, Olsen hits the pipe. Out front, they try to get it. Landon's got it. He's going to turn, dump it. Foot race here as Galton goes after it. Kramer picks it up. Loose puck. They want a penalty. They've called one. Sager put his hands up in the air for a call, but the call is offside as Tim Sager's given it to the ref. He wanted interference on John Kramer. The East Ridge fans wanted interference on Grady Gallatin. The referee sees it as offside and lets him play. 9.01 to go here from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Glad you joined us here tonight on PrepSpotlight.tv. East Ridge leads White Bear 3-1 as we tick under nine minutes here in period number three. Deep into the quarter, Polifka dumps it out. Here comes Knutson. He's got help from Kramer if he can find him. Big back check from Kotzmacher. Knutson shot, tipped off the glass. Nice play by Belisle, who played that one perfectly. Got a stick in the lane, and here comes the Bears. Four of them come the other way on a four on two. Kotzmacher, far side, Olsen, shot blocked. Luke's puck way through. This went by the blue crease. Now it's out, and Gallatin can't keep it in as Olsen had a grade A chance there and just missed the net by about two inches. That one's fired wide. Gall or Krasmacher dumps it in on that long pass. Hodges is going to play it higher off the glass. Try for Tomaska. It's going to get all the way out and back into the neutral zone as we get to 8.15 to go in period number three. Borkstead gets it far side over to Aiken. Aiken activates up. Here comes Rode as White Bear presses. Here comes Welch. Shot just wide of the net as White Bear throwing everything they have at it. And Eastridge hanging on for dear life here in period number three as White Bear Lake continues to control the play. 33, 17 shots on goal for White Bear, and three to one, the, White, the East Ridge Raptors continue to lead here. O'Brien to Borkstead, nice pitch to Bishop. He's got speed as he comes in on Downey, far sides Welch, here comes Bishop, out front, Welch, shot just wide of the net. Bishop picks it back up, loose in front, Borkstead, shot, saved by Hodgins as it gets through. Back in the corners, Borkstead. Welch has now got it, tries to find it back to O'Brien. Tomaska chases him. Tired legs on the East Ridge Raptors, and they get it to the blue line. They need a change. Two of them will change, but back comes Bishop. He's going to go in alone here as a good rebound by Evan Downey. Bad change. East Ridge exhausted. Took the change and almost got a breakaway for Bishop. Here comes Borkstead out of the corner. Now back to Welch. Welch tries to find his man back to Aiken. Far side over to O'Brien. Lots of traffic. Shot blocked there. Great play by Tomaska. He goes prone. Can't get it out though. And now he does. Breakaway here for Ben Tauscher. He comes down the far side. Chance for the shot. Saved by Petman. And a huge one as that could have been a door slammer. But Petman comes up big. Goaltenders battling here. Tonight at Cottage Grove, what a save by Nick Petman as Ben Tauscher takes that loose puck and he comes down and Petman, the senior, makes a grade A save by number 30, or this one's four to one. And at the other end, Eastridge, fortunate as the puck went through the blue paint two or three times to not see one go by Hodgins, but he's held it in tight all night tonight. Shots on goal, 34-19, and we have 6.48 to go. Here's a breakaway for Road. He comes in one-on-one, -on -one. shot scores! Davis Polifka lost an edge at the blue line, and Road comes in one-on-one -on -one and beats Hodgins. Tough break, but White Bear Lake has been due, and Polifka blows a tire. And in they come the far side, and White Bear Lake comes right back here. 3-2 is the score as Nolan Road scores on an assist from Gallatin at the 644 mark and White Bear Lake has been pushing the entire third period and they will continue to push as they close it to one, 3-2. Eastridge clinging to a lead here over the White Bear Lake Bears as the Bears continue to look for the equalizer here in period number three, 639 to go from Cottage Grove. We got a great game here tonight for you on PrepSpotlight.tv. Lighty behind his own net, gives it to Polifka. Now to Knutson. Long pass is intended for Kramer. Goes right through and Belial will pick it up for White Bear Lake. Long pass is Olsen is sitting up here. Gallatin will activate. Right back in this comes Kramer. Kramer shot. That one didn't miss by much as a loose puck came off a of Gallatin. Kramer from 20. He took a rip at it and that one just went wide of the net. And with 6.15 to go, Nolan Road has closed this to one. His second point of the night. He got an assist on the first goal to Tyler Kotzmacher. That time he's the recipient of a break as Blake Polifka loses an edge and Road goes right in un unattested and finds the far post and in.
behind Jack Hodgins on shot 35. And Eastridge leads it 3-2 here with 6-12 to go from Cottage Grove tonight here on PrepSpotlight.tv. Knutson deep in the corner. He tries to bring it back out now. Got Kramer behind the net. Landon out front. Goes half boards. Tries to cycle it back. Nobody home there but Landon with a good tip. He takes it back into the corner and they drive it back. O'Brien far side up for Borgstead. Gets it to Bishop. Bishop now to the neutral zone. Tries to get it in deep. Welch is going to go back in there. He's going to be first to get back in there along with Binokin. Binokin will turn. Just try to get it out. Now Landon comes out. He's got a man with him with Kramer. Two Raptors come to the line here in a 2-1-1. Kramer far side shot. Took it and right through and Petman with another good save as the White Bear Lake goalie has come up big here in period number three. Couple of good scoring chances by the East Ridge Raptors and Petman has kept it 3-2 and keep his team in this game here on shot number 20. He makes save number 17 for senior Nick Petman who's made two or three good saves here in period three or this one could have been over in the other way. Nolan Road tightens it up as White Bear Lake who's controlled play for most of the night. 35-20 on shots. But they trail on the board for now. Three to two here. As we move to 5-18 to go in period three. Olsen tries to get it through to Ravakumar. Can't back to Gallatin who will cycle it back in his own zone. He'll play give and go with Delisle. And Gallatin will look as Kotzmacher stretches it out, looks for the break. They fire it through to him. They get it there. And Hodgins will now have to play it to the corner. Played by Kotzmacher. He's back there. Tries to bring it back out, gets to the point. Will they keep it in? They do. Belial makes a nice move there. Nifty, he breaks up the half boards. Now activates down deep. Tried to find Rode, who was right out front, uncovered. And now they get it out the other way. Here comes Tauscher. He'll go to Tomaska. 444 to go. Period three. Raptors three. Bears two from Cottage Grove here on Prep Spotlight. Olsen back deep in his own zone. That pass gets to Gottsmacher. He's got the first goal tonight as he comes in with Rode. Goes on the far side now, gets around Downey, plays him to the corner. He turns, cycles it back to Road down deep behind the East Ridge net. Road walks up the line, brings it out the far side. Now he'll get it over, looks to his man Akins. They try to get it back out, and now finally they can. Delayed offside here called on White Bear as Conan will bring it out. Get it to Binokin. Binokin tries to get it in deep, can't. Met at the line by Olsen, and here comes White Bear the other way. Now Conan, neutral zone. He'll just turn and smartly dump it in as we get to the four-minute mark. Here in period number three from Cottage Grove, Lanahan battles his man in. Bishop, pass for Welch. He'll go back in. Icing will be waved off as Lighty will go back forward for, for Eastridge. Burst of speed. He'll activate back out, get to the blue line. Happy to just turn and dump it. Lanahan will finish that off the rest of the way, and first man in will be Ben Tauscher after O'Brien. Far side. Here comes Welch. Looks for a man. Gets it to Bishop. Here comes Bishop. Three bears come to the line with speed. Back to O'Brien. Shot from 35. Saved by Hodgins. Into the corner it goes. Lighty picks it up. He looks to turn it. Dumps it off the glass. Now to Lanahan. He's got a break as he comes down by himself. One on four. Lanahan. Shot saved. Petman with 319 to go. Lanahan gets a shot from 30. Petman makes the save and we'll get a whistle. And we'll see now if either Tim Sager or Coach Dustin Vogelguzang will use a timeout here as White Bear Lake is running two lines consistently for all of period three here, as is Eastridge. And they bring out Landon, Knutson, and Kramer again. They've got all the goals tonight for Eastridge. And they'll be out here with 319. Both teams have their timeout left as Downey will walk the line. He'll look for sticks out front. No problem there as Knutson got pushed in behind by Gallatin. Nice play by the defenseman number two, Grady Gallatin there as he blocked the lane for the East Ridge winger and let Patman see it from 55, no problem. Shots on goal, 36-22 for the White Bear Lake Bears who trail 3-2 here with 3.13 to go in period number three from the Cottage Grove Ice Arena here on PrepSpotlight.tv. Knutson in the corner, back to Downey. He'll turn, gives it away. Here comes Bishop, burst of speed, looks for Welch. Benokin will get there first and turn, dump it back down, icing, signaled, and it will be called as Benokin gets too much on it. And East Ridge will make changes and turn it back to the right-hand side of goaltender Jack Hodgins with two minutes, 58 seconds to go, and out will come Road, Kotzmacher, and Olsen. They've got the goals tonight for White Bear Lake. They've got them both. Road has one, Kotzmacher has one, and it's 3-2 as Landon will face it off against Road, who's been outstanding on the draws tonight. Deep in the zone, this time Landon wins it. 
Behind the net, they give it away though. Kotzmacher read that play nicely, got it out front. Now Road looks for it. He looks to circle, looks to shoot. Saved by Hodgins as he came out of nowhere. And Road, nice shot by Road as he looked for the top shelf and Hodgins makes the save. His 35th of the night for the junior and we're gonna face off to the right hand side again. Vogelsgang, Vogelsgang stays with this line. He might want to call a timeout. Now shot by Olsen, saved by Hodgins as that one comes out, battled in the corner, tired legs on the East Ridge Raptors. That one went through, Hodgins bobbled with that one as he tried to get it back to the point and can't. Now Gallatin gets a shot, that one comes through. On the far side is Rowe, loose puck out front, Welch gets it, nice play from behind by Leidy, who picks it up. Now Knutson gets it out to the blue line with 2.27 to go. East Ridge tires legs, changes it, and Rowe will stay out there with Olsen and Kotzmacher. Into the corner, they try to get a deep, Tauscher with a good pressure, change out to the all the forward line for East Ridge. The white bear leg line will stay out as Belial will activate in off the point. He's battled in there by Polifka. Shot by Kramer, gets back out. And there's two minutes to go in period number three here. And they'll keep that line out there as they get ready. Now they'll make changes as the line of Borgstedt, Welch, and Bishop gets ready to come over the boards here for the last shift. I'm sure both of these lines will get one each with two minutes to go. That one's iced, long pass down intended. Too many players on the ice for a second there, but Tim Sager will make his change up. He'll bring out Welch, he'll bring out Bishop and Borgstad. We've talked about it. This line's been held scoreless tonight and they've been dominant when they've been out there. And out will come again, Kramer, Landon and Knutson again as Dustin Vogel then rolls the dice with a tired line here. He has yet to use his timeout. He might use it soon here as this line's been out here for a long time in the third period. Full value, but tired legs on the team in white here as they try to hang on to this 3-2 lead on home ice against the White Bear Lake Bears. Landon, deep into the corner, turns it back around behind the net. O'Brien will play for it, pressure by Kramer. Knutson's in there, and now they come out the other way. Here comes Aiden Welch. Welch turns, dumps it in. Hodgins is gonna go around and play it. There's a man there, though. Does he see him? It's Borkstead. Bad bounce for Borkstead as he had a chance at it. They get it out, Landon does to the blue line. Petman has now left the net, and Eastridge has an empty net to shoot at if they can get it. Landon gets it down deep there. He's happy just to pin it. 1-11 to go, six on five for the White Bear Lake Bears. Long pass out, here comes Borkstead up the far side. He's looks, he'll shoot it. That one's way wide of the net. Landon picks it up. Can they get it out to the neutral zone? And they do. One minute to go here from Cottage Grove as Belial gives it to O'Brien. Now up to Bishop. He'll give it to Borkstead who fires it in on the net. Hodgins will be smart to just hold it if he can. He can't lose puck in the blue paint. He drives it out there. O'Brien's got it. Back to the point it gets to Road shot from Malau, tipped on the way through. Hodgins stops it. Borgstead knocked down. Penalty coming to Downey. And with 35 seconds left, it'll be six on four. As if East Ridge needed any more. They're going to go down two men. And now I would be surprised if Volga Gizen does not call his timeout to give his team a rest here. As Evan Downey goes to the box for two or less with 35.6 to go. And he'll go for cross-checking as he took out Borgstead right in front of the net here. And now a timeout called by Tim Sager of White Bear Lake. As he'll have a talk with his team here as they put the pressure on. Shots on goal, 39-22 for White Bear Lake. They were close to tying it up there as Hodgins couldn't handle that shot from the point. It sat in the blue paint. Someone from his team cleared it. I couldn't see who, but they deserve a stick tap from the goalie tonight who's been full marks. 37 out of 39 and... The majority of those have been right on top of him in the crease. He's been full marks. We said he's won four in a row coming in for East Ridge. You see why, as the junior has had an outstanding year. He's uh, four and two on the year. 907 save percentage, 298. Well, one game they lost, as most teams have. Creighton Durham Hall beat East Ridge 10 to one. He was in for five of those 10. And that's probably the only black mark so far on, the, on his schedule so far this year as East Ridge 6, 7, and 1. White Bear 5, 5, and 1. Or 5, 5, and 0, oh, looking for win number 6 here in this Battle of Suburban East Conference, folks. Tim Sager's got the lineup he wants out there. He's got Welch, Road, Borkstead, Bishop, and on the point, or Olsen, and on the point, Belial. Five forwards, one defenseman out there as Sager puts all the pressure up front to try to get the tying goal here. They have been all over the East Ridge net tonight. 
as they look for the equalizer here. On the east side of the Twin Cities and out for the East Ridge Raptors as Vogelgesang tries to extend that timeout the be as best he can. He'll bring back out the line he's lived with tonight, Kramer, Knutson, and Brady Knutson and Blake Laddie. Three forwards, one defenseman. Face off one by Olsen. It's one clean outside the blue line as we get to 30 seconds. Back goes Tyler Bishop. Bishop turns, tries to dump it back in behind the net. Back four goes Olsen. He'll battle Landon. Picked up on the boards by Borkstadt. Shot on the way through. Luke's puck. Roos in the blue crease. Hodgins has got it. I thought Welch had it. And Hodgins somehow grabs it. They push and shove in front. Landon throws one out to the right. And that puck with 20 seconds left somehow stays out. And as Eastridge hangs on here. And Hodgins will buy time, holding on to the puck, not letting the referee have it. Well, and that was shot 40. They didn't mark it on the boards, but now they do. Now there'll be another timeout called by Vologuzang as he'll call a timeout smartly to continue to give his players a rest here. Really not much play in the playbook here for Coach Dustin Vologuzang. Win the draw, get it out any way you can here. And for... The White Bear Lake Bears, they've been great on faceoffs tonight, particularly Nolan Road. He's won the majority of them. He's in the draw. And off a couple of set plays, they've had good scoring opportunities as Tim Sager draws it up on the White Bear Lake bench. What he wants his Bears to do, they've been the better team tonight for the majority of the play. They've outshot the Raptors 39-22, but the Raptors hang on to a 3-2 lead here with 20 long seconds on the clock for the team in white as they look to steal one here tonight against the rival White Bear Lake Bears. The Bears had won 10 straight in this series before Eastridge went to White Bear, won 5-2 in 2019. The Bears won both games last year, and so 10 of the 11 of the last 12, and, and Eastridge looks for its second win in its last four against the White Bear Lake Bears. As we said, in a series that the Bears have controlled for the most part, it's going to be road against Knutson. Four White Bear Lake Bears in front of the net. The draw back to Bishop, as this is going to be student body right for the White Bear Lake Bears as they line up four across here. Biggest face-off of the year for sophomore Knutson and sophomore Leighton Road as they battle there. Knutson ties it up, gets down. Nice play by the sophomore. He can't get it out, though, as Welch comes in. Smart play by Welch. Now deep in the corner. Welch has got it. Back to Bishop. Top of the circle. Shot scores! With 10 seconds left, they tie it up. It was coming. You could feel it coming. And Bishop ties it up on the draw. And with 10 to go, 3-3 here between White Bear and East Ridge on a set play by Tim Sager. And Tyler Bishop ties it up on a shot from 25 through traffic. And Eastridge was hanging on. And now with 10 to go, overtime looms here between these two. As Tyler Bishop, the captain, gets the faceoff back, shoots it from 25, and through traffic, through four players, we talked about it, student body right, ties this one up with 10.1 to go. On the power play as Downey sat in the box, and it's 3-3, Eastridge. It's Pepman back in the net, Nolan's back to Gallatin. Now for Welch, they'll try one more time with five seconds to go. They got Borks down on the far side. Shot saved by Hodgins as he gets it. And we go to zeros and we go to overtime here between White Bear Lake and East Ridge. As White Bear Lake on shot number 40. Beats goalie Jack Hodgins and it's 3-3 and overtime is the name of the game here tonight from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. And a great one on PrepSpotlight.tv. We apologize again for the technical difficulty of not being able to have our score bug at the bottom or our commercials, but happy we were able to get the feed to you in the broadcast and hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as we have calling it tonight here from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Eight minutes of free or eight minutes of less of free hockey here between White Bear and Cottage Grove or White Bear and East Ridge here at Cottage Grove to determine a winner. As we said, three to one, East Ridge had the lead, two goals in the third period, one by Road, one by Tyler Bishop with 10 seconds left, ties it up, and White Bear Lake full marks 
as they've had the majority of the play tonight in this one. And they tie it up with 10 seconds to go in period number three. And East Ridge Raptors, tired legs as they've worked the top two lines heavily. Particularly in the last two or three minutes, we talked about it rolling the dice. Both teams did call timeouts, so there was enough time for a breath there. But the East Ridge line of Kramer, Knutson, and Landon has played the majority of this third period. And tired legs again. I'm sure it will play a factor in the overtime as White Bear Lakes run two lines for most of the third period has the fresher legs of the two teams but overtime is overtime usually it's a bounce that wins it and we look forward to eight minutes of free hockey tonight here on prepspotlight.tv Referees will talk to the two coaches. They'll change ends here as Petman and Hodgins will change ends here as we get into the overtime period. Eastridge will go from left to right on your screen. White Bear from right to left as we get the last 30 seconds here of this overtime break. The Eastridge players look tired over on their bench. White Bear, of course, full of adrenaline and energy as they found two goals in the last eight minutes to tie this one up on the road in a game that they've been full marks for. 40 to 22 shots on net. As I said, it actually might be a little bit more than that, but the official score is 40 to 22. 3-3 three, three is the score here from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Between the Bears and the East Ridge Raptors. White Bear will bring out Ro Olsen in Kotzmacher. They've got two of the three tonight, and Knutson, Kramer, Landon. They played almost the entire third period. We'll be out here for East Ridge as we're underway in period number four. Overtime from Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Pass up the boards to Kotzmacher. Lottie tries to get it out and does just to the blue line. He's battled there. Landon tries to pick it up. Now Knutson comes up. Two on four as road back checks. Knutson from 25. Shot tipped up high into the netting off of O'Brien. Oh, he and Knutson exchanged pleasantries and a face-off as that one went off of O'Brien up into the netting will be to the right-hand side of goaltender Nick Petman. 7.43 to go here in the overtime period from Cottage Grove. Knutson against Rhodes. That one's one, gets out front, picked up by Kotzmacher. He's got a man breaking there. Nice play by Landon as Olsen was trying to break through the two defensemen. Now behind the net, Gallatin, loose puck out front. Kramer stays with it. Now here comes Kotzmacher, picked off by Lighty, deep into the zone. Raptors have four on one side here. Odd man rush. You see this one coming up. Here comes Rode. He's got Olsen with him. Far side to Olsen. Shot, scores! And White Bear Lake steals one tonight in Cottage Grove. And they come back on a goal by Charlie Olsen in overtime, four to three. The White Bear Lake Bears Come all the way back and steal one here from East Ridge in Cottage Grove. At the 721 mark, Olsen gets the goal, four to three. The White Bear Lake Bears win this one tonight. And we'll sign off here as we've got a player down on the ice during the celebration for White Bear Lake, the, the Bears. Goal by Olsen from Road at 721 and White Bear Lake wins this one tonight. 4-3 to three over a game East Ridge Raptor Club. We'll be back Saturday night right here from Cottage Grove to bring you the Raptors against New Prague. Thanks for joining us tonight on PrepSpotlight.tv.